Hello friends of the Northern Entertainment and welcome back to another episode of my Airport Firefighter the simulation playthrough we are playing through the main campaign um, I am still not sure if there is going to be free play later on I sure hope so but for now we are just gonna make our way here through the campaign and uh, as you know last episode um, uh, last episode we were uh, working here on the sprinkler system we got this all done Oh, this is so loud um and yeah as you can see now the interim Mike, baggage the area is working, is working. The fire is already out yes now I should be able to find a way through mm -hmm. good job John now try to find a way through to the baggage handling system it's not much farther from there on my way I just hope my fire extinguishers don't run out on me yeah I should have probably grabbed another one but that's okay Oh, see, there is Jelaine one around, just waiting for us to be picked up. So let's do actually, you know what? Let's take this one and deplete it because we don't want to be wasteful with the resources that we have. Makes me wonder why they don't have a sprinkler system in the rest of the building. I know the code for that and there should be a sprinkler system in this, well, baggage area. This is either an airport... Well, what am I saying here? What game am I playing again? Oh yeah, right. Airport firefighter. So it is an airport. Never mind that. Um, but yeah, there should be a sprinkler system in all parts of the airport because that is building code. Unless they wanted to be cheapy. All right, what are we doing here? Okay. Um. As you can see, I'm not worried about getting everything extinguished because this is not my job. My job is to get myself alive out of here. And if this is anything like letter 49, well, this whole task is very futile, but we might be surprised with what happens. I don't know. As I said, I'm just seeing all these things here as you see them too. This is a live playthrough, um, or this is with yeah, with uh, no no strings attached, no cuts. Well, there might be cuts on really really boring scenes where I'm speeding everything a little bit up. Mike, but I've made it. Where to now? Ooh, okay. Wait, John. We are just looking through the plans of the system. Okay, I'm waiting. We'll be quick. And we are loading again. What's happening next? And we are loading and we are loading and a sport airfield five years ago. Alrighty. Now what? Hey there. I thought I'd find you guys here. Anything good on TV? Not really, but it's better than nothing. I think there's gonna be something on the New York Fire Department at about 7.30. That could be interesting. Alex, you're already up. Go see if the coffee's ready. I can do that. Well, I or guess we not. Actually forget your coffee. We are driving the engine action. number three. Operation for the entire fire company. All vehicles to respond to a fire alarm at the sport at Alright. Which one is it? Oh, ooh, yeah. Let's see if I can figure out... Oh yeah, panther. Woo! Sorry, bud. And another panther. How many more panthers? Can I know, please? Thank you. Um... How am I gonna get some outside view going? Man, I wanna see the outside. Come on. just happened all oh, right of course sports airfield yeah, yeah, yeah let's see what we see
Ah, here we go. Finally. I have 44, 44 more seconds to reach the field. 35. 28. Sounds like the Panthers are already starting. Okay, here we are. Engine 3 to mission control. We hear you, Mike. Engine 3. Begin rapid intervention immediately on the burning aircraft. Okay. Every fire block, 8 and 9 are in support. Engine 3 Whoa, to mission yeah, control. and they are. Roger. John, you heard him. Prepare the fire monitor immediately and start putting out the fire. Um, is it Arsta? Yes, yes it is. Good. Um, press the X key. Okay. Oh, here we go. Looks good though, looks way better than on the old one. And it doesn't look like we have any problems with water. It's nice too. Oh, you would think we get this under control, oh, but we have 3 minutes and 19 to get this fire under control. That's wonderful. So that is the rapid intervention system. We could also call it a roof monitor or a deck monitor. Come on, fire. Is it just me or is that fire not want to go out? Hmm. There, I think that side is out. And that side is out too. Alright. I mean, would think we put enough water on this thing here to get it out, but I'm not sure. I can't really see. I can just see every now and again white smoke cropping up, so that tells me that we are somewhat on the right uh, direction here. Okay, let's go past here and see. Oh, look, there's a, probably an Airbus coming in. I only have a minute 49 left to get this fire out, so I'm not quite sure if this is gonna happen or not, but I hope. It's really, really hard from this point of view to tell whether or not uh, we are right on target. And a minute 28 left. can't say if we hit the target or not. It doesn't seem that way. And I'm not sure if my water is going far enough back or what's going on. So just with one minute to spare, I'm starting to get a little bit desperate. Okay, let's move ahead. Okay, that is actually good. That is way faster in its response time. I was not aware that I could do all oh boy. Alright, so I guess for the next go around we know it. Because there's no way I'm gonna be able to make this happen. 24 seconds left. But definitely nicely done, nicely done. 18 seconds left, yeah, well, unfortunately. Come on, 12, 10, 9, 8, 6, 5. Okay, well then. So, we know now, for the next time, 
And as I said, I'm not going to cut anything out of this playthrough. You guys going to see my failures as well as my victories, and we're going to celebrate them together. Um, but uh, we are... We are now in the lucky position that I do know how to make this happen. I don't have to stand in the park position, which I don't know why I thought it had to, but I don't know. In a way, the game feels a little bit more arcade, but you know what? Not in a really, really bad way, I have to say. I kind of start... Come on. Engine 3 to mission control. We hear you, Mike. Ooh, yeah, look at this. Panther. I can't wait to drive that little guy. John, you heard him. Prepare the fire monitor immediately and start putting out the fire. Yes, listen to Alex. And why is Alex pink? I wonder. That's just wrong on so many levels. Okay, let's get going here. Let's do this right now. So now that we know what we have to do, we can make this happen a lot faster. Okay, now swing around. By the way, did anybody of you guys notice that this could very well be a... Um, Australian truck because it has blue and red instead of red and blue. Alright. Oh, we have over three minutes left. Engine three to mission control. Copy that Mike. Quick John, get over there. On our way. Quick John, get over there, yeah. Quick John. Do this job, do that job. Don't be an idiot job. Eh, 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 eh. Okay, so this is nice if you hit R, and this is another quick tip here from me to you. If you hit R, then uh, it will immediately go back, and you don't have to wait for the pumps to power down. Oh, yeah, look at this. Oh, yeah, that is good. Firefighters, put the wet stuff on the hot stuff. And we are done. Yes. That was actually fun. Engine 3 to mission control. Understood, and we're on our way back. You well, did a good job there, John. Thank you. Now let's get back. Thanks, Chris. Back to the Let's go back there. Obviously we don't have to drive because as you know we don't have a map anymore, at least in this part of uh, the game. Okay, we are back in the present and... Mike, are you still there? Come on, Mike. Okay. What's next? I've got to get out of here before the rest of the building collapses. Yeah, we're still here, John. It's a maze of conveyor belt systems down there. Wonderful. It's hard to find a way out for you that doesn't lead right into the flames. But I think we've got it now. Which Fire one? away. You should see five conveyor belts in front of mm -hmm. you now. Yeah, Mike, I see them. There are five of them. Take a good look. The belts should have different numbers on the sides. Find belt number 27. Take that one Found up and it. follow it to the first fork. Cappy, but where will I come out? A bit beyond that. There's a set of stairs that lead to the upper section of the system. From there, you can get out onto the roof. Chris and Alex are on their way to you in the upper section. All right. Let's go then. I'll be glad to get out of here. Mm -hmm. Okay, and watch out. The systems are fairly heavily damaged in places. All right, so let's go. Um, okay. 
there. That's what we do with with baggage that's in the way. You should always leave your baggage behind you. All right, so. to take it nice and slow. Actually, I can just throw them ahead of me. I can walk around those now. This would be very, very scary in a real-life scenario, just because, uh, yeah, just, I don't know, walking through a smoke-filled and very um, narrow narrow space like this one, or an industrial space like this one would be very scary. I mean, I never had to extinguish industrial fire, so I really don't know. I mean, we went, obviously, through the gauntlet, and if you are a firefighter, be it volunteer or professional, then you know what the gauntlet is. And I went through it more than once, but I don't know. This would be a little bit of a different story, I think. Okay, so there's the door, I think. And what am I looking for? Oh yeah, I wanted to see if there's another fire extinguisher by any chance, but it doesn't look that way. Alright, so let's just continue on. Ow, 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 he's bunking his head. Ow, ow, ow. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Alright, so... Yeah, great. Directly beside the fire, he gets stuck. Well then, well then. Um, <laughs> let's just keep on going for now and uh, see where this is leading us. <laughs> and once we are at the end of this conveyor belt, we are also at the end of this episode, I think, because as much fun as that all was, but episodes can only be so long. Okay, so I can't really continue here, can I? No, no, that's the end of it. Okay. Okay, follow belt 27. Well, I followed belt 20, so... Sure. Here we go. Half of our extinguisher is used up, but we're gonna keep in mind that there is one in the wall in case we need him. Well, there is no conveyor belt 27 now. Where am I going? Hoo hoo hoo. Oh, there is conveyor belt 27. So it goes that way. Um, and there is another... Okay, um, hmm. So, we continue this way then. <gasps> Makes sense. Alright. Oh boy. I'd have to go back and get that fire extinguisher that I left behind. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Mike, the bell splits in two directions here. Do I All go through left the or fire. Right? Continue right. It's not much farther oh, no. to the stairs. Okay. <gasps> yeah, but well, I'm not gonna worry about this. We're just gonna go the quick way. Um. Come here. Go away. Firefighter with Jedi powers, yeah. And, 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 and. I hear Firefighter coming, he's coming round the bend. He ain't seen the sunshine since I don't know when. And he left his host behind him. 
And pain keeps dragging on. Don't even worry about what I'm doing here. Down in the baggage claim area. Alright. Let's do this. Okay. We are on a roll here, ladies and gentlemen. But looking at the time, guys, I think this is pretty much the end of this episode. We're gonna see next intersection, maybe I will end this episode. And uh, yeah, if you liked it, then please hit that like button. And uh, join me for the next time when we are back in the airport firefighter simulator. Oh, sorry, airport firefighter the simulation. <laughs> And until then, I say thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a great day, and God bless you.